Hello everyone, welcome back to Maggie UK. This is Maggie, hope everyone is fine. Today I will be talking about the topic in Max which is prime numbers and prime factors both related to in some way. So first we were going to look at prime numbers. Before you get into this video, please like, share, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to press the bell button. Otherwise you will not get all my videos as your notification. Let's begin. Prime number is a number that has no other factor except by itself and one. The few things that we need to consider about when you do a prime number is the two is an even prime number and one is not classified as a prime number. So we are going to look at some of the example. So let's see, um, I'm going to do some example and then um, one of my students is going to uh, do the um, uh, last example for the prime numbers. Let's begin. So I'm going to put some um, questions on the board. I'm going to do some two prime numbers and then I will ask somebody to do it. So this topic is very, very useful for everyone from primary, secondary up to uh, even GCSE because if you know in your foundation in primary and secondary at the beginning in year 7 then you can do this one in primary is a basic thing because when I was teaching kids um, the primary st school children struggles this one a lot so uh, we need to know what is it first so I'm going to put some numbers and we will find what are the prime numbers in this so I'm going to put 11 13 15, 17 and 19. So if I have this numbers like this, so we are going to find out which is not going to be your prime numbers here. So I already said the prime number, it should be the factor which will be divisible by itself and by 1. So if you see this, which is, is going to be a divisible by 11 and 1, so there's no other factors for 11. And if you go for 13, it's still the same. You have... Um, you can divide by 13 and you can divide by itself which is 1 and 13. If you go here, if you find the factors for 15, you have 3, 5. So it has more than um, not by itself or not by 1. So that means that this is not a prime number. So we can also look the other numbers as well. For 17, it will be divisible by 17 and 1. No other numbers can come for 17 and 18. So this is going to be, so not prime number is... is 15 so if they ask who to find out which is a prime number and which is not a prime number so the prime numbers will be all the other numbers are prime numbers and not prime number is 15 so let me do put some more so now we are going to find i'm going to put some numbers here now this time we are going to find what is a what are the prime numbers so let me put some numbers here 5 15 22 34, 47, 51, 59. So now we will be looking here what is going to be your prime numbers. So you need to think about here. So the prime number is a number which is a factor of the own number itself and by and also with one. So I have listed some of the numbers here and this time we will be looking what is all the prime numbers. So already I am repeating again the prime number is the number that is divisible by itself and one. So let me see whether five is the prime number. The five is divisible by five and one. So this is a prime number. So 15 I, we already came here. So that's not a prime number. So we are looking only for prime number this time. So this is not a prime number. The next one, can I ask somebody to um, help me as well? So what do you think about this? Whether it's a prime number or not a prime number, number 22? It's not a prime number. So it's not a prime number. So we are looking for prime number. So the 5 is a prime number. So I'm going to write this first. Okay, let me look for 34. Is 34 is a prime number or not a prime number? It's not a prime number. So why do you say it's not a prime number? Because it's divisible by, by it's divisible by seventeen and two. Okay, it's divisible by seventeen and two. It's not divisible by itself or one. So that's why. So what about forty-seven? It's a prime number. So it's a prime number because you can't have any other number as a factor. So it's only by forty-seven and one. So that is a prime number. Okay, the next one fifty-one. 
it's not a prime number because it's divisible by 17 and 3. So it's divisible by 17 and 3. Okay, what about um, 59? Uh, that is a prime number because it's only divisible by, by okay, it's one. It's only divisible seven. by itself and 1. Okay, good. So this is, if they ask what is a prime number, you need to think about what is a prime number first and then you find out which number should come. If they ask what is not a prime number, you need to think about which is not because it has lots of other factors. So let me put a little more, um, another example, which is I'm going to find out list the prime number. between 20 and 50 so it should be between 20 and 50 so I'm also going to ask this one so we are going to find out the prime numbers between 20 and 50 so that means it's not 20 or it's not 50 in between the values so can you tell me what all the prime numbers between 20 and 50 so we go with the 21 is that a 21 a prime number? Uh, it's not a prime number. So it's not a prime number. Because of 7 and 3. Because of 7 and 3. Okay, because it's not divisible by its own or 1. So, okay, what about 22? Uh, 22 is an even number, so it doesn't come. It doesn't come because it's it divisible by 2 and 11. Okay, 23? Uh, it's a prime number because it's only divisible by 1 in itself. So 23 is a prime number, okay. Next one is 24. That it's is an even number. So. so it's an even number. So we can't put 24. Okay. What about 25? Uh, it's not a prime number because it's divisible by 5. Because it's divisible by 5. So you can't have that one as well. What about 26? No, even number. Even number. What about 27? Uh, no, it's divisible by 9 and 3. 9 and 3. So what about 28? Even number. 28, 29. Oh, 29 is a prime number. So 29 is a prime number because we don't have any other factors for 29. So that's why we have to put 29. What about 30? It's an even number. Okay, what about 31? 31 is a prime number because of 1 in itself. So it's divisible by 1 in itself. And the next 32? It's an even number. It's an even number. What about 33? 33 is divisible by 11 and 3. So it's divisible by... 33 divisible by 1 and 11. So the next number is 33. What do you think about 33? It's not a prime number. Okay, what of 11 and 3. Okay, what about 34? Even number. Okay, what about 35? Uh, it's not a prime number because of 7 and 5. Okay, what about 36? Even number. Okay, 37? It's, um, it's a prime number. It's a prime number. Okay, so now I'm not going to ask you one by after the other. So can you list down the other numbers straight away after 37? What are the prime numbers? 38, 39, 40, 41. Okay, good, 41. Because all the other numbers in between 38, 39 and 40 has the other factors as well. So what about the next numbers? What numbers will come after that? 42, no. 43. So 43, okay. Because you can't have any more factors for 43. 44, no. 45, no. 46. 47. 47, okay. Any more? Between 50? No. Do you have any 49? No. No, so okay, good, well done. So these are all the prime numbers. If they ask what are the prime numbers between 20 and 50, you need to think about the numbers and then you have to write it. So this all the prime numbers between 20 and 50. Hope you um, understood this one. So this is a very important. With this prime numbers, the next topic we are going is the prime factorization. So using this, we are going to use a factor tree to find the prime factorization. What is a prime factor? To find the prime factorization, you have to use a factor tree. A factor tree breaks a number of into a factors, then breaks these factors into smaller factors and keeps going on until all the factors are prime. So that is called your prime factorization. So now we are doing a prime factorization. So using the prime numbers we are going to find and we are going to write the answers in an index form this time. 
So first I will be putting some examples. So we are going to find what is the prime factorization for 20. So I'll put the 20 here. So we are going to use the factor tree. So which goes like this. We need to find what factors are um, 20. So which is, can you tell me what is for 20? 5 and 4. Okay, so you have 5 and 4 that gives 20. So now you need to think about um, the, I, I already said about what is prime factorization. You find a factor and that factor you will, can break into another smaller factors until you get your prime number. So if you see this both number, the 5 is a prime number. So what I'm going to do is we can't anymore um, find a factor for a 5. So we are going to circle this. Now this one we can still find a factor for 4. So that goes like a tree. If you see the tree has like branches. So 4 so um, we can have 2 and a 2. So I already said a prime number, we have 2 as your even prime number. That's the only even number we have a prime number. So we can't go more than that because we already said we achieved your prime number. So I'm going to circle, we have 2. So how we are going to write the answer for this is if I put um, like this 20 equals what all the number is 5 and then two we have another two so we are going to you can write the answers like this or if they ask you in an index form so how do you write is so we have two twos which means two to the power of two times and then you write the five so that means if you have another two that means you write two to the power of three so they will ask you an exam you write your answers in index form you need to write like this so this is an example hope you got this one yes okay so now i'm going to put another example so which i will do that one and then finally when you got this i will be giving you a bigger number for you so the next two example i'm going to split the board i'm going to put one sum here one another sum here so it will be easy for me so the next number is 39 so i'm going to find the <clears throat> prime factorization for this using a factor tree so 39 what are the factors we have is 3 and 13 I don't think we have any more than that so if you look at this number we already got a prime number for the 3 and 13 so you don't have more factors it doesn't go like more than another uh, breaking into another factors so what is your answer is you just write down 3 and 13 so that is your prime factorization for 39 so the next one, I will be putting a bigger sum, which is 64. So we are going to find for 64, same way you have to use your factor tree. So if you think about 64, so you have 8 times 8. So if you see here, you can still break it down because we don't still have the prime number here. So now we are going to split because this is the one I've said breaking into another sm small factors. So if you see here 4, so 2 and 4. So already we got this as a prime number here. So we can circle this one. So that, that means we doesn't need to go uh, more than here. So next one is here. So 4 is again 2 times 2. So this is also an even prime number. So I'm going to circle this. And then this one we can break it again. So which is same thing, 3 times 4 and then again it goes like this. So what will happen is all of them have the prime number so we can't extend more than this. So now when you write your answer, we need to write in an index form. So first what I'm going to do is first write normal as it is. So bring, see how many twos are there. So count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we need to write 2, Three, four, five, and six. You can write your answers like this. If they don't ask in index form, but if they ask in an index form, you need to just write like two. So and then you see six. So two to the power of six. That is your index form. So you can either write like this or either like this, write like this if they don't ask in index form. If they ask in index form, definitely think about you need to write only this answer. So now the last example is a bigger number. I will be asking my brilliant student to do this. So we, I am going to write a bigger number so that he is going to do it. Okay, can you use the prime factor? Come on, what are all the factors for this? 
45 and 10. Good, 45 and 10. You can still break it down. 10 can be simplified to 5 and 2. Okay, so simplified by 5 and 2. And what about this? Uh, that would be 9 and 5. So that would be 9 and 5. And then 9 could be simplified into 3 and 3. Okay, so good. So if you look at the other numbers, we can't break it down more because I already said this is the one of the prime, prime numbers. numbers, one of the prime numbers. If you circle it, it will not get confused for you. Otherwise, you don't know which one you need to uh, make it down into, break it down into more factors. So when you end up with your prime numbers, you can just circle it down. And then when you write your answer, we can write it down like this. Is it to 3 times 3? Okay, we write it down. Times same. 5, times 5, times 2. Okay, so now I want the answer in an index form. So how do you write an index form? This? So in order to do that, that's 2, 3, so 3 to the power of 2. 3 to the power of 2. Times 5 to the power of 2. 5 to the power of 2. Times the only 2. Good. So this is your index form. So if you have 2, that means 3 to the power of squared, 5 squared, and then times because we have only 1, 2. Well done. Excellent. Thank you. Hope you understood this topic. If you have any doubts, please um, comment me in the comment section. If you like my videos, please like, share, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to press the bell button. Otherwise, you will not get all my videos as your notification. Until I see in another video, Maggie signing off from you. Bye. Please subscribe to my mom channel.